Did you find a random plant on the streets and don't know how to deal with it? Then you might want to stick around for this video. Hello, hello and welcome to the Plants But Better channel. My name is Adina and today we are repotting a cactus. I found this bad boy near a dumpster. It was pretty sad and lonely and I brought him home. And we'll see today if this is salvageable or not. Well, in my case, I was pretty sure this plant was abandoned because it was near the dumpster, literally. But if you find a plant that maybe it's near to an apartment door or you're not very sure it's an abandoned plant, I suggest you ask first before taking your plant home. Maybe you find a friendly neighbor that could tell you if it's safe to take that plant. There could be a lot of different reasons why a plant is abandoned. Let's say the owner got a new pet and maybe it's not safe for them and I've seen plenty of plants abandoned with biting marks so that could be a valid point. Another reason could be that simply the plant doesn't react well in a specific home or maybe requires a bit more care than you can give it at this point. Sometimes people move out and they can take all their plants with them and in that case you could really find some gems in the dumpster or near the dumpster. There's also a big chance that someone has a little too many plants and they look to cut down on some responsibilities. But the number one reason in my experience that most people abandon plants is when they are infested and they don't want to treat it or just don't have the time to deal with it. Which leads me to the first step. Make sure to check the plant for pests and ask yourself is it really safe and is it worth my time to save a new plant? So is it really worth the trouble? If you decided to give it a chance and you know the plant is infested, you actually identified in the pests, then you should treat it immediately and isolate it from the rest of your collection. You are risking infesting a lot of plants for the sake of just one. So if you are not being careful, you might fuck up. I spotted on this cactus some spider webs and also some firebugs, which are not necessarily harmful for a plant. And since I didn't see any plant pests, I just showered it like super carefully. If you identify a harmful pests on your plant, I suggest you treat them accordingly. For example, if it has mealybugs, use some rubbing alcohol, or if it has any other types of pests, research and treat your plant. Also isolated for at least one or two weeks from your beautiful collection. And if you don't have any type of pest repellent, shower it like crazy. <laughs> And if your plant doesn't have any type of pests, clean the yellow leaves if it's the case and you still have to shower it just to get rid of any dust or any other debris that your plant may still have on the leaves. After that, I don't usually advise to repot a plant right away because it could cause some unnecessary stress on your plant, but this is the exception to the rule. If it's a plant with a suspicious background, you need to check the roots to make sure the plant is or not salvageable. And that's what we are going to do today. <laughs> Find out if this cactus is healthy or not. Hopefully it is. First of all, use protection. I have with me the gardening gloves and you may be wondering, okay, why do you have that? I think it's pretty useless because the cactus in general is pretty aggressive. Yeah, that's why it has fucking spines. But now having a welder husband or boyfriend comes in handy. Yes, I'll be using welder gloves and if you have this luxury, I advise you to do the same. I tested them before and I know these are not like the regular kind of gloves, but if you have them at your disposal, they are great for this situation. They are safe on their own, but I'm using the gardening gloves as well because I want to be extra cautious. So take care of your skin. It's a very important asset. It's like the largest organ in your body. Now this could be a total mess because I have no idea how the roots look like. We'll find out right here, right now, right here, right now. I have two options with this plant. It's either very good or very bad. We'll see. I'm hoping for the best case scenario, obviously. Okay, now totally safe. I don't have any problems, but I need to be very gentle because this cactus has a lot of upsets, like a lot of them. And to be honest, I really want to be repotting this plant because I don't even like the nursery pot. Well, this pot is fugly, but yeah, I'm going to try to gently remove this pot on this tray. It has the worst type of soil possible. Oh my God. This is regular soil. Oh, oh, I don't know what this insect is. Oh, oh my God. I've seen this insect in the soil. 
I will remove a glove just to move around a bit easily and I will try to uh, squeeze the soil which is so dense you don't want this type of soil in your oh another firebug a dead one you don't want this type of soil in your cactus and I'm guessing this plant was kept outside because inside with this type of substrate I don't think it would have survived the soil is so fucking dense I think the roots look pretty okay I just don't, don't want to get scared again by another insect this is gonna take a while it's a lot of substrate a lot of soil this is not substrate this is regular soil from like the back of your yard it doesn't have anything special it was mixed with a little bit of sand and it's very damped because i showered this plant like yesterday and unfortunately i can't wait any longer to to let it dry because i didn't know the roots are healthy or not so yeah i'm guessing this cactus was definitely grown outside because it has a lot of offsets and generally these plants need a lot of light a lot of bright direct sun actually you can definitely leave them in in the sun the roots are looking way better than I thought. That's good. Unfortunately, since the soil is so dense, I will break a lot of roots. <laughs> this is the sad reality. I broke a pup. It is very, very healthy so far. I'm quite impressed. I don't know why it was abandoned. For real, what's the personal story of this cactus? But it's definitely not because it's sick it's actually a very very steady plant i'm impressed okay i separated another part of the cactus need to be very gentle i will definitely encounter yeah i saw the bastard this is how it looks like i don't know if i should disturb the roots more than this moving on you are so healthy this substrate is super organic i mean i expect to see even more bugs this is a very big chunk of plant <laughs> i made a mess look at this look at this healthy boy another bug and another bug i definitely need to clean this cactus better oh oh my god another pup and another pup how many pups do i have oh you might want to know why do I have this reaction. Let me show you. I don't like firebugs. I don't like them at all. I know they are probably harmless, but I still don't like them since I was a kid. I'll use my medical clamp and try to... Uh, uh, I don't want to kill you, but I don't want you to stay in my cactus. If you have this, if you have a clamp, use it to get rid of the unwanted stuff like bugs and other debris. I will have to break some offsets, it is what it is. This is quite a healthy root. I definitely like what I'm seeing. This is dead. I have an offset that is dead. There we go. It has so many pops, so many pops. I'm still indecisive. I don't know if I should pot this plant all together or if I should divide it. I have with me two terracotta pots. I think terracotta is the best option for this plant since it doesn't require a lot of water. So I think this is enough. I don't want to disturb too much the roots since this plant is quite stressed out that I broke some offsets from it. And I will be keeping some of the original substrate on these roots. I mean, I will not shower them. Now, moving on to terracotta pots. I have a smaller one, vintage. It has a very pretty texture and a bigger one. They are both from Ikea. I think they are a great option for a lot of plants, especially this cactus. And I think I will be using just the bigger pot. Yeah, I don't feel like dividing plants today. <laughs> It's just about feeling. <laughs> I've prepared this soil based on cacti soil, some perlite and some sand. I exaggerated with the perlite because I want the substrate to be very lightweight, to drain the water very great, very fast. And we'll be using this bad boy to make this plant happy. I will put some of the substrate on the base. And now I will take this off because it's very dirty. <laughs> and use this one instead i will take the cactus and try to place it in this substrate carefully placing this cactus 
I'm very happy with this plant. I didn't know it will be this healthy. Sometimes if you had cactus before, you know that it may seem fine, but you find out you overwatered your plant really late. Oh, I think I need to add a bit of soil in here before putting some other plants, just to lift them up a bit. Repotting a cactus during winter almost. I'm living quite adventurously. I don't think I can fit all the offsets in here. Ah, that's a problem. Even though this pot is way bigger than the other one. I'm going to get them out, place some more soil on the base and put them in here again. Let's do this again. A few hours later. And there you have it. This bad boy is ready for its new life. This pot is very heavy, but now I know that the substrate is good enough for this cactus and I will be striving to give it the best sun or most probably it will end up as a gift for my mom. <laughs> If this cactus wasn't healthy, I was planning on cutting it and trying to save it from root rot, but fortunately it wasn't the case. I mean, you've seen it had pretty decent roots and I'm very happy about that. I hope if you also find a plant near the dumpster to be as healthy as this one. The situation depends on the plant, but after I'm done repotting, I will shower this plant a little bit just to get rid of the wet dirt that's still on the plant and then I will isolate it again from my collection. Even though I didn't see anything suspicious I still want to make sure I'm not risking the health of my plants and I advise you to do the same even if you find a good looking plant near the dumpster additionally if it's a plant that you never had before I advise you to do some research to see if your plant has the right conditions in your home and for example for this cactus I will be showering it today and then I will probably never water it until spring so you need to mimic the natural environment as much as possible as best as possible like the right amount of light the right amount of watering, the right humidity, temperature and so on. Another thing if you find a plant in the garbage is to not fertilize it, even if you repot it or not. Fertilizing it should be the last thing in your mind. Usually if a plant is dying it's most probably not because of the lack of nutrients. So yeah, focus on the other important things I just mentioned, light, watering, the right substrate, humidity, temperature. Now the question remains how to prevent abandoning a plant. And if you have a plant that you can figure out how to make it happy, I suggest thinking of the garbage bin as the last resort. First, you can ask your friends and family if they would like that plant. If your plant is sick, then maybe it's a good idea to give it to someone that is willing to save it and knows a thing or two about plants. Also, there are a lot of groups out there in a lot of cities where you can post your plant and have it donated or exchanged. It's way better than the garbage. And other than that, we kind of reached the end of our video. <laughs> so how about you? How many plants did you rescue from the trash? And if you have any other tips and tricks, leave them in the comments to help people save more plants. Now me and my cactus will take our leave and advise you to subscribe to this channel if you want more plant related content like this. Give us a thumbs up if you gain some value from this video. And until next time, don't forget to take care of yourself and your plants.